Research at the Laufer Center is in physical and quantitative biology. We're located at Stony Brook University. Uh, physical and quantitative biology is the interface between the physical sciences on the one hand, physics, math, computer science, and the life sciences on the other hand, and evolution. Brookhaven National Labs is only 20 minutes away. Cold Spring Harbor for biology is uh, not far away. And within the broader area of two to three hours from here, we're kind of at the center of, a, of a, an intellectually very active area of research. We're focused on basic principles. Are there principles in biology? Are there physical limitations to those principles? How do the cells in biology work as machines? How do they evolve? What are the mechanisms in biology? How do proteins fold? In some instances, we have theorists and experimentalists working together. We have evolutionary biologists working with theoretical statistical physicists. The aim over time is to develop more and more of those collaborations with the ultimate goal of trying to solve some of the most difficult problems in biology, often boil down to some of the most difficult problems in physics and chemistry. And the way to do this is through an integrated approach. We all come together. We try to solve these hard problems together. Everybody brings his bit or his piece uh, to the table. I think the best thing for us at the Lover Center is really the community. What we're trying to study in this quantitative and physical biology involves so many different areas that none of us can be an expert on all of them. We need physics, we need applied math, we need chemistry, biology, computer science, all of these different sort of traditional research areas. And the Laffer Center really is at the, the interface between them. If you're a computer scientist and want to be able to have other colleagues who are interesting, who know a lot about different areas, things that you don't know. And the Laufer Center has been great because it has brought together people like Ken Dill, who's an expert on proteins, and with a lot of other people here who are doing systems biology, who are doing all kinds of other research. And so having everybody under the same roof, having a reason to get together, is one of the ways things happen. The Laufer Center was built to be interdisciplinary from the ground up, so in its inception it was built to be interdisciplinary. The center was designed so that we're all rubbing shoulders every day. That's a very different way of organization than most departments these days in, in academics. Usually they're separated and any interaction is just sort of serendipitous. We're built this way means that we're going to have much more of an emphasis on crossing these disciplines and coming up with new creative ideas because of it. The Reality Deck is a collaboration with the Computer Science Department and Ari Kaufman has set up a a nice visualization. It's the biggest in the world, 1.5 billion pixels. And basically it allows us to see proteins in a way that we couldn't do in a monitor. We have a very integrative environment. We have people from three different institutions. We have people from Stony Brook, people from BNL, and people from Cold Spring Harbor. It's the synergy between all of these groups working together. We have all complementary knowledge. It helps us to build together and there's a lot of interaction. There's a lot of sharing of ideas. There's a big push to help groups develop projects together. And I think that's one of the biggest things that allows us to do things that we couldn't do on our own. In the past, if you were a student and working in biophysics, you would focus probably on one kind of thing, like computational drug discovery or like genomics, for example. In our center, we feel that it's important that graduate students and postdocs get a broader training than this because the future is for people who know the full spectrum of tools. The students can enter different graduate programs and take advantage of their background. If the student has a strong physics background, they can come into our physics graduate program and be able to build on all of that knowledge they have but then the Laufer Center program will offer them classes that are specifically designed to round out their knowledge and fill in the gaps they might have in biology or in computer science. As a PI, I see the students as the glue of these uh, interdisciplinary interaction. You have a student and they form the bridge between two disciplines. And, and to them, it's, it's a great opportunity because they can be in many worlds at once. And, and as scientists grow, we're expected to be in many worlds at once. And so they get that experience right from day one. Many of the problems, the uh, world's big problems today of clean water, food supply, energy supply, developing chemicals from renewables, uh, new drugs, cheaper drugs, those kinds of things, 
all sit at this interface of physical biology, where physics and biology meet. So there's a huge future in this area, and our mission in graduate education and in postdoctoral education is to help train the next generation to be able to do those sorts of things for all the world's needs.